Hey guys, I'm going to do some Markov modeling on stocks that move big. The I was going through my watch list and I found that BTG, one of my holdings, is up 5%. So I'm going to jump over to the chart and sure enough it is up over 5%. Now, I don't know what's going to happen next. It's a big bar, so instead of trying to guess what's going to happen i'm going to put it put the data on in llama ai to tell me what happens when when btg moves this big what happens next let me pull that up so first i need to get some data i'm going to go to yahoo finance and i'm going to punch in my stock btg that's just the gold stock and now i need data so I go to historical data and I'm gonna look at daily and I need to make sure because llama only takes a few like a under 200 days so I'm gonna I'm gonna run with this and I'm gonna select all of 2024 this probably isn't enough data let's just do this much see if it'll run it so then I'm gonna copy it and jump over to llama uh, I just search llama and then I click click on it in case you've never done it before I thought I would do it I'm gonna do try llama and then I'm gonna say run a Markov model on the data provided which I will paste rising equals over 5% falling equals let's say 1% well let's just do the same thing and I can edit it later and then neutral equals between negative 5% and 5%. I paste the data and see if it'll do it. So that means I have too much data. So Let's do it again, and I'm just going to copy, let's say, Feb. Paste it again. That was too much data. Let's do, let's just do May. Okay, so that worked. And what I'm trying to figure out is the probability of if we're in a rising state, which we're in, what's the probability that it continues to rise and it's already doing 5% days. So when it's rising 5%, what's the probability? And 34% of the time, the next day, would also be rising and that would be a rising over five percent which is interesting and then neutral which is between negative five and positive five so that's probably the most likely outcome still that's a what 70 80 percent chance that it's not falling more than five percent so now i'm gonna paste it again and I want to find out what if it's falling is negative 1%, neutral is between plus 5 and negative 1. Let's see what it says. So now rising is 26% chance, 53% chance of neutral. 
which that makes sense. So my, maybe my neutral is too wide. But it, <clears throat> that tells me right there that 26% chance that it, after a 5% day that it would be rising. So it's not great. Let me try... That tells me 20% chance. Actually, this is useful. So now, after a rising day of 5%, there's only a 20% chance that it's falling negative 1 or more, <clears throat> which tells me there's an 80% chance that it stays positive and only dips negative 1. So let me go back to my chart. And now that tells me that the most likely outcome is that we're going to stay around here slightly positive, which is what I expect. If you look at other big days, most likely you'll get a few attempts of trying to go higher. And then, <clears throat> and then there may be, be some profit taking. But there are, there are days when it just runs up. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. And, you know, <clears throat> normally we do it intuitive, intuitively. But with, uh, with this AI, we can actually put some numbers behind it. And now I know there's an 80% chance that it's neutral or high. And then what I'm going to look for is uh, tomorrow and the next few days. Are they smaller days? Or are, if it runs up, I can run some more numbers. But look at this volume. Because there's big volume, I'm going to think that it's going to be positive days. So that's, the, <clears throat> that's all I have for now. Let me know what you think in the comments.